So I just came straight out of summoning uh, shards. And as you guys know, at this point, I have my very first um, plus four champion. I think it's very poetic that Cupidus, who was my very first uh, legendary champion across my entire raid career, also happens to be my very first plus four champion. So what I wanted to do was rebuild him. Because as you can see right here, indicated on the left side of the screen, Cupidus sitting at around 7,900 7, attack, 202 speed over crit. And at 344% crit damage is, um, you know, he's okay. But I wanted to bring this crit rate down by somewhere closer to like 100 or 103 at max percentage for crit rate. So now I'm messing around with the builds here, trying to see what is the best amount of damage that I could um, rock him with. So um, this popped up right here. We're looking at a little over 8,000 attack, 226 speed, 100% crit rate, and only 305 crit damage. I don't know how I feel about that crit damage, personally. I think I want to bump this up. I mean, 300 is sort of like... It's, it's good. I'm not going to lie. 300% crit damage is really good, but I know I could probably do better. So what I'm going to do is bump up this crit damage, maybe bang it out at 330. See if that goes anywhere. If the gear even shows up. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. That's pushing it. We actually got more attack? So 8600, 225 speed with 333 crit, dam uh, crit damage, and it looks like we're taking gear off of pretty much just Baron. But I don't use Baron. Let's actually include sets now. I want to make sure he stays in um, some ignore damage gear. I'm thinking. No, hold on. I think I'm pushing it too much because I'm already using the optimizer, which will provide, you know, with, with this setting here, it's already showing the highest possible damage for the parameters that I'm setting. I do think that even though the Hell Hades optimizer is stating that I can get this much attack and this much crit damage, but it's showing it in gear that isn't like 100%, um, not 100%, but like it's not showing any of the ignore damage, right? I want gear that shows um, Savage. I want a Savage set on or I want Lethal. It did show Cruel, but I'm not sure if that's where I want to be entirely yet. All right, so we got this one again. Hmm. All right, let's just specify because that's that's what I'm wondering, right? I'm wondering is is it better to have that those ignore mechanics, or should I take the extra stats and like just completely take the eight and a half thousand with the three hundred thirty crit damage? What can I get? Okay, so if I try it out in lethal gear, nothing's gonna happen. Merciless, I I can almost guarantee I'm not there yet in terms of gear. So I'm not going to bother with Merciless since I don't have much of it. Check out Savage. And nothing in Savage. So I am pushing it with the crit damage. Let's just bring it back down to 300 crit damage. Maybe 220 speed is asking for too much. Although I don't think it's asking for too much. Maybe lethal, lethal is the best way to go here. Lethal, we're going to be ignoring the same amount of crit damage as, or crit damage, the same amount of defense. We're going to be ignoring 25% defense element OP. But we're also getting that built in the set 10% uh, crit damage. So that's weird that it was showing things and now it's not showing anything. Bring it back down to 7,800. No, it was, that's weird. It was showing things. Now it's like, dude, you're asking for too much. You're having me work, bro. You're having me work. Let's take off the set pieces. It keeps changing. Why does it keep changing things? Hold on. Let me live refresh. What is going on? We're still on damage mode. We still have the 8,000 attack. Come on, give me something. Give me something. So we're back at 8.1, 226, 305 crit damage. 
looks like instinct instinct which also does bring some ignore mechanics oh by the way look at this the path of serpent event coming off of all those summoning things that i had uh, i stopped banging these things out i stopped uh, clicking things because i realized i could probably share this with you guys um so any of you guys who wish they could complete the path of serpent event you can now live through me because i think i have enough i had a hundred a hundred thousand something uh here i think it might be enough to actually finish out the event so we're at least getting the avatar and we we are getting makage now so i'm taking these with me and i don't really need that looks like we're not actually going to be able to finish everything i will take the lego books though i'm going to take those lego books and i'll take this soul stone here just because uh yeah so no we did not finish everything but we got a good amount we have a thousand left let's go ahead and just take these uh brews on this side here now in terms of the Mithrala event we're taking all these rewards here Let's just go ahead and do that. Thanks for sticking with me through this part. And reset happened. So instinct gear is going to ignore. I think it's only 20%, right? You ignore 20%, but you get a speed boost of 12%. So do I want to keep him in lethal where I am able to uh, ignore 25%? Or do I take that 5% hit and settle on 20%, but I have higher stats? I'm thinking that having the higher stats will actually help me out. Because I'm having an increase to damage by 220 with attack. I'm losing out on crit damage, though. So now that I'm talking out loud about it, maybe this is not the best way to go about it. Let's drop this to 210. because. A lot of I, I pretty much only use Cupidus in Hydra, and a lot of the damage comes from counterattacks. So maybe I don't need to have him that fast. I could just focus more on damage. And this puts him back in lethal. Although I don't want to take from Tuana Rock, because I like Tuana Rock uh, where she is right now. So we're going to lock her out. And I'm just doing this so you guys can see my thought process whenever I'm going through. Uh, building a champion here. Let me live refresh again because it didn't uh, redo it. That way, any of you guys who are wondering what my thought processes are when I'm looking at champions and trying to pick certain builds, you guys can see that here. Let me let me increase my crit damage requirements to three. Did I get three fifty? And drop him out of the 210 range and just leave him at 200. Let's see, 8,000 attack, 350 crit damage. Asking for too much? Is it pushing the gear? 200. And yeah, it is pushing the gear because we're not going to be in any specific sets. I think lethal is probably the best thing for him right now. Let's hit that live refresh. And shows up right here on the bottom. Let's see okay so nothing shows up there let's get 320 crit damage okay so we do get something in lethal 8144 over crit though over crit i don't know if i like that over crit let's put a cap on the crit can we put a cap on the crit uh looks like we can't specifically here Unless I change this and put a cap of 103 and we just prioritize the attack here and the crit damage. So if he shows up a little over 8,000, 200, 102, and 326, taking off of Iron Grazer. Grazer. Um. I'm not sure how I feel about that one. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but me seeing that it could have reached 8.5, I don't know. I guess I could, like, get some of this up with Ascension. 
No, because if I take this gauntlet, that's still going to add 4%. So let's actually bring this up to 105 and then rework this to 8,500. Can I, I'm just pushing it as far as I can go. Maybe I should just trust the Hell Hades optimizer. 8,100. Now I'm curious, right? What if I just reset everything? And I go straight damage, and that's it. I just leave it like that. I wonder what shows up. Eighty five hundred, one forty eight, three sixty one crit damage. Now that's if I just basically rely on counter attacks, which is kind of what I've been doing. But I also fear that he's just never going to take a turn, and that might not be a good thing. So we'll leave him at 200 speed. Yeah, I think that's we're on the right track, leaving him at 300 crit damage, because there is a point of diminishing returns, I think. Let me know if I'm doing anything wrong, if you think I could improve upon my process uh, with any of this. I think we're just going to settle for this 8,340 with 200 speed and 300, a little over 300 crit rate, taking gear off. Oh, we can't take off of Tormin. Definitely not going to be touching Kaimar, so back to the drawing board for that. And so we're going to settle at 8,213 crit damage. And this is okay, I don't use Mashalet anymore, but we can't actually touch um, this guy because I use him for a lot of the dungeons to solo. Corvus, his name's Corvus, I think. 8,213. That was the same one as before. Take that live refresh. And run it again. 81, almost 82, 200, 303. Looking good off of Mashaled. Yeah, we'll take this. So let's go ahead and run this. So off of Mashaled, he's in lethal. Which is weird, because I, I actually like Moshalet. I just haven't used him in a long time, and it looks like there's room to glyph him up as well. So during... Actually, I won't even wait for CVC, because there's no real point in waiting for a few points. Me, personally, personally, most of my points usually come from doing Spider uh, with attack, okay? And we got the triple, so there's room to glyph here. I like that. And a little room to pump up the Ascension stats, so he's wearing this already. And I need to get the attack boots with the speed on them. And changing out... Actually, we're not changing out any of that. Do not ask me again. Do not ask me again. Do I really want to activate? No, I don't want to activate. What? No, I don't want to activate it. Why is it shoving it down my throat? I don't want to use it. I don't want to use it. Just don't don't force me to use it. It fucking forced me to use it. That's so stupid. I, I guess I'm rebuilding champions for the next hour. Um, let's go ahead and put some glyphs on. Let's use some, uh, some of these glyphs. And let's get some speed on him. Extra speed. Come on, one more. Dear God, they need a mercy system for this. I was worried I was going to do back-to-back -back ones. That's okay. Send, give me some attack. We'll take that attack. It's not much, but it's still attack. Attack is attack. No Titan. HP, we'll take HP. Got attack there. It looks like he's glyphed up mostly here. We're going to definitely bang out this attack. Glyph on him. Let's give me a fiver. We'll take the four. 25. 15, low end. Give me 25. Give me 19? Come on. 23, we'll take 23. Put out a 3, we'll settle for two, uh, 3 right now. Let's get a 10, got a 10 on that. And if we bring this up all the way, which I think we've got enough. Let's put this all the way up, get that extra 20%. Got the 20 on the 20 there. Got the speed on speed. 
Let's get some extra defense in. Every little bit helps. You never know. Skin of your teeth, sometimes you survive. Give me a five. That's a three. One more. That's fine. We'll take it. We'll just settle for that. And then get the defense there. Got the triple. Got crit damage on crit damage. Attack banner with defense. I would actually rework this. And I would probably hope for honestly more attack. Let's rework this. Attack. I think I think we would actually benefit more from doing something like HP. Or actually, you guys let me know. Is it better to re-roll this until I get attack? Or should I wait until this turns into like accuracy? Or should I just leave it on res? What do you guys think? Because right now we're sitting at 879. I thought we were at... Wasn't this supposed to be like 8,000? Hold on. This said 8,000, right? Did I not take it right? This said 8,100. 202 speed, 202 speed, and 303. So what were we missing out on? Did I not do it right? Like crit damage, crit damage. Oh, I took it all right. This is right. Uh, crit rate and crit rate. The speed. Crit damage, speed on the helmet. Defense, crit damage. It was already he was already wearing it. We got the crit damage with attack now. Attack on attack. Speed. Oh, the boots are off. I messed up with the boots. The boots are actually supposed to be. I guess we, it's a good thing we use that um free gear removal. This one right here. Attack percent with speed. Yeah. So now we're at 8500 100, 209 speed. But we're still at 108 crit rate. That bothers me. But I think for now, I'm just going to have to settle on it. Because it just seems like that's where, where I need... Where it, this is, this is going to produce the best result for me currently. Unless I just find a different piece in one of these sets here. Which I don't think I necessarily want to. Let's try rerunning this again. But we're talking like 105 max. Yeah, 105 max. Trying to keep him in lethal. 8,204. 378 crit damage. 378 crit damage is insane, but we're not staying in lethal, and that was uh, my bad. I thought I had kept it in lethal there. Eighty one hundred two hundred one three thirty one. Looks like it. We're just changing out the boots and the helm, but. We would lose out on an, on another because right now we're ignoring thirty percent because we have lethal and cruel. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Yeah, because unless I can keep lethal and cruel together, I don't think I want to lose it. Oh, let me add one optimize. Eighty four, and this brings us up to three twenty one. Oh wait, actually, this might act. This might actually work. Just change the weapon, and this takes us to. Yeah, this might actually work. Hold up. Oh crap! I just clicked. What was? What am I doing? So from eighty five, we drop down to eighty four, but. On from speed we drop by nine, but we drop down to one oh three, and our crit damage actually boosts, and we get a little accuracy, but that's not really important because we're not worrying about his HP burns. We're just trying to make sure that we get um like a lot of damage in. So let's go ahead and put this on. It's got the double crit damage at first, 
with the speed crit rate. There you go. Equip that to send it. Give me some attack. We'll take the attack. Give me some speed. Give me speed. And one more for the speed. There you go. Give us a four. And let's just do this. Got the 80. And let's just do that. Gotta see it. Gotta see it. 8600 on the dot. 204 speed, 321 crit damage, and 103 is just acceptable to me. 105 would be really pushing it. 108, 109 was just completely unacceptable. And so now when we go into Hydra, we're actually going to be at um, 860, uh, 8,691 with 222 speed, looking at three hundred, almost 350 crit damage. And we're ignoring... Um, oh, so we're ignoring 20% in Hydra on top of ignoring another... Uh, I can show you here. On top of or ugh, boring, ignoring another um thirty percent. So when we go in with Cupidus, we're ignoring fifty percent crit, or we're ignoring fifty percent of the Hydra's defense. On top of that, our attacks are going to inflict twenty five percent more damage, uh, because I have Cupidus on the team. Then we have crushing crushing Ren. So to go up further from this, we'd want a, a higher blessing for Cupidus to get more crit damage. Ignoring defense for every 25 levels, every 10 levels, going up further and further. That blessing might need to change for now. I'm not actually going to change it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it. But I will put on my wish list, I'm going to put, instead of Acrisia and Siffy. Oh, should I? I don't know. I'll leave it, I'll leave it alone. I don't want to bother with it. But yeah. And then the Masteries are actually not correct. These masteries are wrong. These masteries are wrong. We need to redo these masteries. I'm looking for Helm Smasher. We're doing Helm Smasher. Took off the crit rate. Does that... Did, would that have... Yeah, that put us at 98. Well, I guess I could have adjusted accordingly, but no, I think we're fine. Get the extra crit damage. We're going to do a little bit of healing. Uh, speed enemy killed by this enemy. Burr, burr, burr. We want more counterattack. I don't even think I need to worry about counterattacks because no, we should just add counterattacks. But we are going to take extra res, and we're taking um, improved parry to decrease the damage that Cupidus receives whenever we are hit with a crit hit. Increase the healing and shields that we receive. We could take single out so that we do a little bit more damage to enemies with less than forty percent, or. We could uh, take one of these here, maybe put a block buffs on, but I'm not too, I'm not too happy about if the head of mischief were to take this, since Cupidus doesn't really have high res. He's only got like 250, something like that, when he goes in. Could take Shadow Heal, but we're gonna go ahead and take Resurgent. We're gonna take Delay Death, take a little bit of a uh, damage mitigation here. We'll take the counter attack here. Let's move over here to bring it down. And we don't really care about cycle of violence in Hydra, really. It's just his A1. We could take Wrath of the Slain here for each dead ally. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then we'll take uh, Methodical, and there we go with our Helm Smasher. Take the extra counter attack. And here it's kind of a toss up. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, mm, I guess I could take Shadow Heal because sometimes the head, the heads, the Hydra heads do heal. But I think what I'm going to end up doing is just taking single out. It seems a little bit more consistent. So there's his new masteries there. Yeah, we're looking at a, a pretty tight Cupidus.